so I've just realized I haven't updated you all on how the kindy fundraiser went. I'm in the car, I'm not even in the garden at the moment, but I thought if I knock this off now, I can do a really quick update uh, and it won't take me crazy amounts of time because many of you have just been so supportive and I thought it wasn't fair that I showed you the progress but didn't let you know how the fundraiser went. It was chaotic in an amazing way. I didn't even get great content. The first I was able to film the setup was about 20 minutes in because it started at 11 and by 20 to 11 people were trying to buy trays full of seedlings um, that were predominantly you know the volunteers and the mums and dads who were helping to set up and I'm going hold on slow down I haven't even worked out how to take payment yet. Uh, by uh, about an hour in all the beautiful flowers and succulents that were donated by Garden Lovers on Wattle Tree had all sold and a large chunk of my homegrown veggies had all sold too. I, in previous years, had to keep reducing prices and was basically begging people to take them. This time I didn't reduce my prices at all and uh, by the end I did give away a few free things, particularly to the kids who were coming and they were sort of counting their tokens to see if they had enough to get what they wanted and I was like, you tell me that you'll look after this and promise to water it every day and you can have whatever you like. I'm a terrible salesperson, but it was amazing. I reckon all up, we probably made about $800 for the stall, from the stall for the kindy. If I went, I don't know if you can hear that noise in the background because I don't have my microphone on, but Lucy is learning how to kiss. So she's making little kissy noises in the background. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think we made about $800, which I was really happy with. If I were to give advice to anyone else wanting to sell, can you hear that? Oh, you're so clever. Wanting to sell plants at for a fundraiser type thing. Uh, tomatoes were really popular. Obviously it has to be the right time of the year. Herbs, super popular. I didn't have enough coriander. Um, I had, I didn't have enough coriander. Um, I did have quite a bit of coriander, but it sold really well. Parsley sold really well, basil sold really well, tomatoes and, and all sorts of other things did too, uh, but you, even those who feel like they can't grow were willing to give the the herbs a go. Um, the other thing that was amazing, we had I had quite a few people come and tell me that they came to the fate just for the plant stall because they'd been the last few years and had such success growing the things that they bought the last few years, which is amazing because we grew those seedlings as well uh, with Jamie's help and um, I also my favorite comment was from someone who'd never grown food before who said oh the tomatoes we bought last year did so well but I'm not sure what I did wrong because they died off over winter um, and that was such a beautiful comment because it just showed that literally um, people who have never grown anything before and don't even know that tomatoes won't grow over winter they'll die off and you plant them again next season even she had success and got um, a huge amount of fruit from that tomato plant so it was amazing I promised myself I wouldn't be doing it again but after getting some of those comments I think I might have to and now the school has asked if I might grow some things for the make and bake sale so I've already planted some seeds stay tuned thanks for your support guys bye